to be honest with you guys i've actually had a really rough last few weeks i've been really on the bottom like I decided to head out to my local Oxfam to pick up some books. I've been dying to go to this place called Ready Burger and it's like a vegan version of McDonald's. This is the real test, I guess. Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing? I have just gotten out of the shower. As you can probably tell because my hair is soaking wet, it is a miserable all day in the UK today. It is a bit drizzly and rainy and the temperature has finally dropped after the bizarre 20 degree weather last weekend. It is now about 10 degrees or something so yeah that's why I've got the old turtleneck on back to winter clothes. Um, and it is the 5th of November which means it's bonfire night. Um, I'm sure you've all probably heard of Bonfire Night and the Gunpowder Plot, but if not, go give it a Google. It's just a holiday where we celebrate um, the fact that Guy Fawkes did not blow up the Houses of Parliament. Um, we do that by setting off fireworks, um, which is such a strange tradition when you say it out loud. Um, hang on, let me just finish brushing my hair and I'll resume talking in a sec. There we are. Um, yeah, I guess for me, Bonfire Night kind of always signifies like that time where we really are coming into winter and the weather does take a turn. So it kind of has struck just at the right time. Um, does mean it's going to be freezing if I'm standing outside tonight to watch fireworks. Um, but definitely looking forward to it, hoping there aren't going to be loads of crowds. Sorry, I'm just doing my skincare because I've got out of the shower. Hoping there won't be loads of crowds because of the bad one, but we'll see. Um, I'm just having a chill weekend this weekend. Um, to be honest with you guys, I've actually had a really rough last few weeks. I've been really on the bottom, which is quite hard when my content is my life and vlogs and things. Um, and it kind of relies on me doing fun things and being upbeat, but it hasn't been like that for the past few weeks. And... I try to keep it real on my channel but I also want to keep it light hearted and obviously I don't feel like filming when I feel rubbish in myself um, and I'm just starting to come out of that now which is good so trying to pick myself back up today and taking myself off, off out on a solo date around London and doing things I love. I bought lots of books yesterday from a charity shop which put me in good spirits and yeah fireworks tonight. I'm also going to head into central London. I want to browse TK Maxx and the Christmas sections and see all of their Christmassy things because I know that's something I love. Had a nice warm shower this morning and played some Christmas tunes. So just doing all the things I know I like. Finished reading a book I was reading. Um, what else have I been doing? I, oh, I really want to go into to central London to go to Crosstown Donuts because they have a pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice flavoured donut that's limited edition. I don't know if it's run out yet, but I am desperate to try it before they switch over to the Christmas selection, which I think they're in the process of doing now. And yeah, so I really, really, really want to do that. It's been something on my bucket list. I know that sounds so silly to trek all the way into central London for a donut, but this is a gentle self-care weekend to try and pick me up. And if that's what I need to do, that's what I gotta do. So I'm gonna do that to feel good. Um, also, let me know in the comments below how you feel about these like rambly sit down style vlogs because I'm aware I've been speaking for three and a half minutes now and I don't know if that's too long for a vlog um but let me know if you like these mini sort of life updates as I get ready or whatever because I'm worried that I'm just rambling on and on and on you're like cut to the content Emma so with that said I think I will finish getting ready and actually do my makeup off camera and then I'll take you with me in central London I've got to say my skin is also flaring up quite badly and it's been a while since I've had a flare up like this. I know some of you might not think this is bad and a lot of people have their skin a lot worse but growing up I've always had really bad skin so when things like this start happening like it really upsets me because it just reminds me of how bad my skin was as a teen or as a child and growing up and things so that's kind of how me feeling a bit rubbish but just wanted to share with you all because it is real, we all have skin problems and you're not alone. Um, we all have insecure days, so yeah, just a little snippet for you guys, keeping it real. 
So I was just telling you guys about how down I've been feeling and obviously I've been speaking to friends and family about it and I mentioned briefly in a conversation to one of my friends a podcast I'd been listening to um, with this guy called, I think he's called Mo Gaudat, I'm not really sure how you pronounce his surname but he was on Stephen Bartlett's Diary of a CEO. I'm not a big podcast listener and I really struggle to get into them and focus on them but Diary of a CEO is one podcast I can really get behind and I was telling my friend about how inspirational and motivational this guy was and how I really like what he said really resonated with me and he wrote this book called Solve for Happy and I'd mentioned it briefly to my friend that I wanted to get the book because it's the kind of philosophy I need in my life about how we reframe the way we see things that upset us and how we move past them and I just had the doorbell ring and I thought who is ringing my doorbell? I haven't ordered anything, I'm not expecting anyone. So I went down and there was an Amazon parcel and I just thought one of my friends has ordered something, I'll take it in for them. And it had my name on it and lo and behold, the book has arrived at my front door. One of my lovely, lovely friends from work has sent me this with a lovely note inside um, to make me feel better. And I just, whenever you're feeling down, remember like, people care about you, people really, really care, and it's moments like this that make me think, like, I have some really amazing, brilliant people around me who I love a lot and care a lot about and who care a lot about me. So if you're struggling at the minute, reach out to the people around you because you'll be surprised to see just how many people do care. Um, and on that note, yeah, that set me off to a really good weekend. I'm in really good spirits now. Um, I mean, I was this morning anyway, feeling a lot better, but that's really touched my heart. Yeah, feeling really good. I am going to put some shoes on and then I'm going to head out and I hope you all have a really good weekend on the back of that. If you're struggling with anything at the minute, I hope you manage to pull through and it will get better. And for anyone wondering, this is my outfit of the day. I love this dress, it's super wintry and cute but I rarely wear it because I'm always afraid my legs are going to get cold. It's probably not going to keep me that warm today but I'm hoping I'm just going to be in and out of shops a lot so fingers crossed this will be enough but I do have my big thick winter coat on because I am a softie and I do not want to get cold.
in from my trip to Oxford Street and it was feeling very festive. They've got all the Christmas lights up now. Obviously I was there during the day so they weren't switched on yet but I can't wait to go and see them sometime in the evening um, or sometime at night when they actually do have them all switched on because I think they did the big switch on on the 1st of November. Um, treated myself to a couple of nice things. I did manage to get my donut from Crosstown that I went out for but I've just took a peek into the bag and it's all smushed and crushed which is annoying. I should have eaten it at the time but I wasn't particularly hungry and wanted to wait till I'd gotten in and made a cup of tea and I like, really enjoyed it so I'm about to have that now. Probably doesn't look the best but it will still taste just as good. Um, I also popped into TK Maxx and I'm not one for impulse purchases but I saw this bar of soap. I smelled this bar of soap and I just knew I had to get it. It is almond scented. I love almonds as a snack, as a smell, um, as a flavour. And it just, yeah, it just smells so good. And I thought, why not? I've been feeling down, treat myself. So I picked this up. Actually decided not to get it and then regretted it. Walked to another TK Maxx and went in to get it um, upon reflection. So glad I went back and did that. And I also got a pair of shoes. If I just, oh, they're on the floor. Um, grab them. These Stan Smith um, Adidas trainers that I've been after for ages and I couldn't justify spending £90 on them because that is just ludicrous for a pair of shoes that I don't absolutely need but I have been after them for a while and they were in TK Maxx for 30 quid. so I was just like you know this is a purchase I've been mulling over for a while as I said not an impulse purchaser but managed to pick these up so feeling really happy about that about my purchases and all the while I've got to soak up the festive spirit, so definitely in good spirits. And I'm gonna go pop the kettle on and make a cup of tea and enjoy my donut. I forgot to mention yesterday, but um, after work finished, I decided to head out to my local ox farm to pick up some books. I decided that to boost my spirits, I wanna get into doing the things I love again. And reading is one of those things. And I actually haven't been reading a lot of poetry, so a lot of the things I did pick up were poems. Um, I do read a lot of fiction, or I try to read fiction like on my commute to work, or on the train, um, or on the tube, and things like that, or on an evening if I do have spare time. But I actually really miss reading poetry and annotating poetry. Obviously, doing a degree in English, that was something that was a big passion for me, and I haven't done it in a long time, and I thought, you know what's to stop me from doing it now if it's something I enjoy. I enjoy crafts and vlogging and scrapbooking and reading and annotating poetry so I'm just trying to learn more about myself and my hobbies so I did decide to pick up a lot of these things are poems. I picked up um, Rupi Kaur's Milk and Honey. Obviously this went viral <laughs> on the internet so I thought may as well give that a go and The Sun and Her Flowers which I think is the second um poetry collection after this one um but I've never read any Rupi Kaur before I've obviously seen snippets on like things like Instagram but um apparently they're really relatable and easy to digest and they've got these really cute illustrations inside I think this one's the same as well um I don't know if this kind of became love hate or if everyone still loves Rupi Kaur's poetry or if it's like a bit cliche now but I never tried it when the hype was there so really want to check it out and form an opinion myself. I also picked up Beowulf which is a very random and academic thing for me to pick up but I was a bit of a medievalist at uni and this is obviously Old English and it's a verse translation and I did want to get back into poetry so where best to start than somewhere I love obviously this, this is Old English not Middle English but similar sort of themes and there are a couple of essays in the back I just kind of miss that academic scholarly environment and I figured I don't need to go back to uni to still enjoy that and I don't I didn't particularly lo love writing the essays but I did love write, reading and annotating so what's to stop me doing that now so I picked that up that's such a nerdy thing to say but it is what it is and then I picked up some Seamus Heaney and Ted Hughes um I've never actually read any Heaney before but I did have a flick through and it sounded really interesting and I did google him as I was in the Oxfam to read about what kind of poetry he writes and who he's inspired by and where he's from. Um, he's an Irish poet and I've never read any so I thought you know what let's give it a go. It, it seems like something I'd be interested in and actually I've just I've just realised this work was translated by Seamus Heaney so maybe he I don't know that, that's so random unless I guess there were a couple of, of copies that looked a bit like this and they were all on the shelf next to one another and um, not like this copy exactly, but um, 
not this, sorry, not this writer exactly, but this style of um, poetry book. So I don't know if maybe the same person has donated all of these to the Oxfam. And there is like a thread between all of these poets and I'm picking up on their literary interests. But then, yeah, the other poetry collection I got was Ted Hughes Birthday Letters. I did study Ted Hughes um, when I was at school alongside Sylvia Plath and really enjoyed him then. Um, so I decided to pick that up as well. And then I did get two novels, um, Ishiguro's Nocturnes, which I have read, is it called Never Let Me Go? I read that earlier this year and Clara and the Sun and really, really loved them and the themes he discusses in the philosophy. So I don't know what this one is about, but I figured I'd love it. And then the last one I picked up was Once Upon a River. Now I have no idea what this is about really. It was the cover I was mostly drawn to and I think I saw it in Waterstones when it was first released and it was at the front of their store so I think it's a big one um but it was the blurb that actually like fully enticed me to buy it because it says infused with the spirit of Jane Eyre, Rebecca and the woman in white and those three novels are like my favorite novels of all time so if this is anything like any of those I think I'll really love it and then obviously I have I've just <laughs> chucked it over here because I've started reading it but solve for happy that my friend got me this morning as I said so I've got a lot to keep me busy and to lift my spirits I guess but these were all really cheap it only came to £20 for all of these books from an Oxfam so definitely think about buying second hand if you want to treat yourself to books because I only buy second hand now and you can pick up some really good copies in an Oxfam so as part of my treat myself weekend I've been dying to go to this place called Ready Burger and it's like a vegan version of McDonald's so I've decided that's what I'm going to do for my dinner tonight and the menu just looks so incredible and I actually think it's really affordable like considering one it's fast food and two it's vegan but look at this like this literally looks like oh I can't zoom in but this literally looks like a McDonald's burger they do like the Big Mac equivalent double cheeseburgers like the fillet of fish chicken burgers they even have these really delicious looking like crispy vegan fillets i don't know what is in them but they look incredible so i'm just browsing the menu now and i'm going to put an order in i'm thinking i'm torn between the nugget meal because those crispy nuggets look really really tasty or oh, just getting a i don't think i want like a double stacked burger i don't really like two beef style patties but maybe getting the large fries and then where is it just like the regular cheeseburger they do have like i think it's like their value menu yeah they've got a value menu and i think i'm gonna try this one it's only one pound 89 which is not bad at all like it's vegan and yeah i just think they also have these um like mcflurry equivalents like vegan ice cream they do a standard one an oreo one and a biscoff one look how tasty that looks I just love living in London, they have so many different food choices all the time. Um, what would you get? Let me know in the comments below if you think you'd go for the, the beef burger meals, beef burger I say, I mean like vegan beef, or chicken nuggets or fish burger, let me know. I have changed into a slightly warmer outfit for the fireworks, I figured best put some jeans on, it's going to be cold outside, I'm probably going to switch out of these boots as well because these are very very cream boots and I'm going to be standing in the middle of a muddy field so yeah but I am appreciating this neck because this is going to keep all the warmth in and yeah my big winter coat wherever I've put it on the back of my wardrobe. I'm feeling very excited. I have got the goods. I am so so excited about this because I've been wanting to try it for so long. And this is a lot trickier than I thought it'd be, trying to open a bag with one hand. But here we go. Um, let's see what's here. Napkins, and um, if I can get these chips out without dropping them, that would be great. Um, those are the chips. Yeah. They're looking slightly pasty, but I don't know if there's like a different type of oil or something used. I don't know how, how normal fries, vegan. Um, because these are vegan fries, they might use slightly different cooking oils and ketchups I just went for oof I went for the standard cheeseburger in the end 
and just the, the large fries they only do the fries in one size and this came to three pounds 40 or something which is just so good um just wanted to see what was in it we have a couple of gherkins i might add some of my mayo to it my mayo isn't vegan though they did offer me mayo when i was in there so that must be a vegan mayo but so far so good i like the look of that like you wouldn't think it was vegan looking at it but i am interested to try the cheese because that's usually something i struggle with with vegan food this is the real test i guess You know, it's not bad, like, obviously it's not beef, but I didn't really like beef before I went vegetarian anyway, but this is really good, like, as vegan fast food chains go, not that I've tried many, I'm vegetarian, not vegan, but that tastes really surprisingly good. I would like some more, like, fillings, like gherkins, or maybe some of that mayo they were, they were offering me, but, um, yeah, that's really good, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, now for the fries. not bad they are slightly like bland um but i do have ketchup mayo i could always put some more salt on if i feel, feel like they need them yeah all in all i really rate that definitely if you're in london and you're near a ready burger and you're vegan or not vegan but if you're vegan and you're specifically looking for vegan food i would definitely recommend this i'll definitely be going back because i really want to try the chicken fillets they have two different types the crispy fillets and the normal nuggets so yeah, I think that is a win. I would definitely go back. I will shortly be headed out to see the fireworks. I'm going to go meet my friends in the local park so we can stand and watch them and not have to pay an entry fee to the actual venue that's doing them because we can literally see them in the sky above where we live, which is a special win, I think, for me. Um, yeah, I've... I had my burger, was extra delicious as you'd seen. One thing I did notice, there wasn't any lettuce in the burger. Do McDonald's cheeseburgers normally have lettuce in? Maybe their value menu ones don't and it's just the, it, maybe it is just the big ones that do. I don't know, I can't remember. Um, there was another thing as well and I can't remember what it was that I noticed afterwards. Maybe it'll come back to me. Um, but yeah, still very tasty. I am now about to put my boots on. I've got my hat on, feeling very festive, very wintry. Um, and actually it's still quite a mild night, like it is chilly but it's not absolutely freezing. So I think it'll be an enjoyable night to actually stand out in if, fingers crossed, the rain holds off because it has been drizzling slightly all day. Um, but yeah, it's only like a five minute walk from my house to the park, so not too bad. And hopefully if people are up for it, maybe we'll head to the pub afterwards because I am definitely feeling in mulled wine slash mulled cider spirits. and that is bonfire night 2022 done i had a really really great time it was so nice i met up with some friends from work and their uni friends housemates and things so it was a good little crowd and the fireworks were a little bit underwhelming, I must admit. I went to see the same ones this time last year. And the the display just seemed a little bit more extravagant then. I don't know if... I mean, I guess we are kind of living in a 
cost of living crisis at the minute so maybe they've pulled back on budgets and rightfully so um just to sort of respect the current climate we're in but it definitely didn't feel as exuberant this year it was big and um yeah, definitely didn't feel like it went on as long either, but that was fine because we went there, we saw it, a firework is a firework, and after you've seen a few, I guess you've seen it all. Um, though I do, I do love a fireworks display, I could sit and watch them for ages, I do really enjoy them. Um, and people were letting them off all around the neighbourhood as well, so it wasn't like that was it for the night. Everywhere we walked, the, there was someone letting off fireworks in their back garden or other displays, so yes saw my fill of fireworks for the air and then we headed to the pub which was really cozy vibes sat outside very mild night i remember growing up as a child in newcastle i definitely could not have stayed out that long because it would have been freezing cold this time of year but in london it is still quite mild this time of year and on an evening so still quite pleasant to be outside um had a couple of drinks had a cider um and then just walked back and jumped straight into my dressing gown though i am actually quite warm i thought i'd be shivering and you know desperate to get into some fluffy clothes and pajamas and blankets and things but yeah quite warm pleasantly surprised and i'm about to take all this makeup off and head to bed as always um i hope you've enjoyed coming along to this cozy autumnal bonfire weekend with me i hope you enjoyed my shopping and the christmasy vibes and the book hauls and stay tuned if you want to see more christmasy content thanks for watching this vlog guys i'll see you around bye Thank you.